so on. So effective communication is important, but really persuasive takes it one step further because we want to move people towards action, towards taking action. And, uh, do you think that's important? Yes. Yes, so they not just, uh, okay, I get my message across, but really, can you get people to take action? And for salespeople, for people who do negotiations, for even trainers, for even people like us who are coaches, it's very important because it's not just all talk. We always say talk is cheap. You need to get people to do things so that they can uh, make changes in their life and so on. Yeah, very, very important. Okay, so now we go on to, okay, let me just give you the official uh, definition of persuasive communication is given by someone who uh, I learned a lot from and I admire a lot. He's called Stephen Scott. Okay, and this is his definition of uh, persuasion. He said persuasion is the art of guiding one's mind through a field of ignorance and misinformation or misunderstanding. So that means you are starting from this point. Let's say this point is one where you just don't know enough. You don't have enough information. Okay. Now, from this point, you move this person over to this point where that person has then have enough information they know about that thing. And from there, after the understanding, when there's enough understanding, what do they do? They then take action. Like Robert was saying, we take action. So we take action based on the best interest. Okay? That means, let's say, I'm communicating with Daniel. So first, he may not understand uh, let's say I'm trying to sell him something. Uh, uh, let's say I'm selling him uh, insurance. Okay. So first, he may not understand why he needs insurance. What's what what what's, what's the importance? You know. So I guide him through all that. Uh, you know, misunderstanding, misinformation, and so on. So now he has enough information. Oh, okay. That is why uh, insurance is important. Okay. Then from there, he then makes a decision, either to buy or not to buy. That's up to him. Is his Whatever he feels is to his best interest. But at the end of the day, he must take action. Otherwise, it's just a lot of knowledge. Knowledge without action. Okay?